guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today I have quite a few plans. Um, I'm going to my parents' house first of all. Eric is going to drop me off because he's got some stuff he wants to get done. Um, I'm going to spend some time with Yuki, with my parents, and Rachel's going to bring over her dog later in the afternoon. So we're going to have a doggy play date. But tonight I actually have to start packing for Sydney because I leave in like four days and I have not packed yet. Though I'm not too worried because I'm only going to Sydney for about two weeks weeks and then I'm coming back to Perth for a while um, okay my flying schedule is going to be a bit messed up because um, then I have to fly back to Sydney for a few days for work then I have to fly back to Perth and then I'm off to South Korea again so it's gonna be hectic but we can do this guys I'll push through it anyway I'm gonna get ready to leave now I have to pack my laptop because I'm going to do some work whilst I'm over there too so let's go oh yeah I'm kind of dressed up right now because I was filming um, some stuff for my main channel but I just wanted to show you guys because I absolutely love this outfit so much so this uh, blouse I got when I was in South Korea and then this skirt is from Yesta but I think I'm just gonna change into like some jeans oh, I hear her Hey Yuki! Go inside, inside Yuki! Inside, inside! Inside, inside! Hey Yuki! How's your eye? Is it better? Looks a little bit better maybe? Better? Oh, better! guys I am back home it's like almost midnight so I'm gonna head off to bed now I'm so exhausted I've um, had a really good day though I um, had lots of fun with my friends and playing with Yuki I'm gonna miss Yuki a lot but I will be back in Perth in like two weeks I would do my best to film bits and pieces of our move but Eric has already done most of packing he's packed away the computer the kitchen stuff laundry etc I just have to pack my clothes and makeup so I will film that tomorrow for you guys hey guys it's the next day and now I am finally going to start packing for my move to Sydney so I'm just trying to be smart about this because do you guys remember that video I made um, telling you guys what I regretted packing to Japan so okay this time it's going to be different because when I moved to Japan my intent was only to move there for about a year but this time to Sydney I'm going to stay there for a couple of years and maybe even permanently if I like the city um, so I know I have to pack maybe more clothes but then again I'm looking at my closet and I'm actually thinking about not packing that much just because I mean in my situation right now I do get a lot of free stuff I get a lot of free makeup and clothes monthly which means that um, all of my old stuff I might not wear anymore so I'm actually going to clean out my closet once again I know I cleaned it out like a couple of months ago but I think it's due for another cleanup so I'm gonna make a donation box for the clothes that I don't think I'm gonna wear anymore and give them more to charity so the thing is I'm not gonna bring all of my clothes I'm gonna leave some stuff behind because I am going to come back to Perth like a couple of times during the year um, like I said I'm only going to Sydney for two weeks this time around and I will be back in Perth for about a week and a half <music> I've sorted out my dresses and my blouses that I am going to take to Sydney so just a pile of stuff here now the thing is I won't be seeing this stuff for a while just because I am going to ship all the stuff with a company and they said that it would take two to three weeks for all the stuff to arrive to Sydney which means that I probably won't see any of this until next month so I'm only going to pack the stuff that I know I won't need 
within the next month, which is probably all of it. Um, and the stuff that I will need in the next month or so, I will put in a suitcase instead. I was supposed to buy more vacuum seal bags and Dyson, but when I was in Japan, I don't remember what I was thinking like. I was just really stressed out that I didn't even think about buying vacuum seal bags. And by the time I realized, I was already in Korea and I didn't have time to go um, shopping for them. So yeah, we do have a lack of vacuum seal bags, but it's not too bad because I have like... I think another six boxes I can pack and I really don't think I would need more than two boxes for clothing. I am going to pack my winter coats which I will vacuum seal because they take up a lot of space. I'm very tempted to ship these because these are very expensive to buy but um, I don't know how big my closet's going to be in Sydney uh, so maybe it's best just to leave it here because it fits perfectly inside this apartment. I mean, Sydney does get colder than Perth, I think, so maybe yeah, I'll ship them. These, I think I am actually going to leave in Perth. So my Pikachu shirt I got in, I think, Wego. I'm going to take this one because this is one of my favourites, this Pokemon jumper. Oh, okay, I want to bring this dress. So guys, I tried to organise my clothing according to Marie Kondo. <laughs> and actually, it helped out a lot, seriously. Like, um, you can find things so much easier now. Yeah, I guess these ones I'll bring. See, okay, now I definitely will use these two. Mm, these ones. You know what? Like they're small, you might as well just bring them. I know that I did say in my other video that I regretted packing a lot to Japan because I had to ship them all back to Perth. But um, keep in mind that I am moving to Sydney, which is still in Australia, so it's not very expensive to actually send everything over. We have decided that we will stay in Sydney for perhaps at least two to three years so it's going to be a lot longer than my time in japan anyway i put all the stuff that was on the floor inside the box now moving on to this one this one here is all of my winter stuff all right cleared that box so that's all in there now let's look at this. So these are all of my swimwear, which I don't think I'm going to bring with me because, I mean, I bring one set with me. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, I bring this one with me because my favorite one. And these are like formal dresses, which actually I think I'll bring with me as well, just in case I have any formal events to go to. Screwing the light bulbs to my mirror so we can send this off. I'm gonna bring Sydney with me. Jeans I do wear very often, so I think I'm going to actually pack that into my suitcase. This part here, yeah, let's see. Mm, okay, I'm gonna take probably the majority of the stuff actually because these are just very nice basics that I can wear mm, I'm gonna take my Pikachu t-shirt because I like that one this is my Sailor Moon one yeah I'll take the Sailor Moon one and this is also Sailor Moon one yep I think I'm gonna leave these behind because I can wear these back in Perth for now this is all full so let's just pack this away and start another box now I have to pack away uh, my skirts these are uh, some other jackets. Damn it, I've got so many jackets. Um, and then I've got like active wear, scarves and stuff. All right, so um, these skirts, I do love them, but I'm gonna leave them in Perth for now. I don't see myself wearing them for a while. Uh, let's leave that one behind too. This one, let's leave. Okay, so we've got some shorts, um, two skirts and I'll pack these. Now the reason why I'm not packing too many skirts and stuff is because I have another bag full of skirts and shorts which I bought recently in Korea but I am going to take that with me in my suitcase. I have a bag full of makeup and skincare which I got 
at Don Quixote in Japan and these are all for videos so I am going to put those into a box. So now I have to pack up my makeup table so it's a bit of a mess right now but this is what it is like. Um, so I am going to have to pack the stuff that I don't mind not seeing for like a month. The stuff in my makeup collection, a lot of it is actually expired already so I probably should go through and get rid of that stuff. The reason why I have to remove all the makeup products from the storage is because um, the removalists are going to be taking this and my whole makeup table to Sydney. Um, oh gosh, let's work it out. So in here I've got eyeshadow palettes. I probably should go through them and see which ones I want to keep. Well, I think the easiest way to work it out is to actually take out all of these storage containers and go through every single product and see if I'm going to actually use it or not. Now, I am going to take most of my makeup to Sydney, but I will keep a good amount in Perth as well because I'm going to be coming back here. Um, so I would like to have some makeup to use. I'm going to get rid of this Jigglypuff powder because it's not that good. Um, the Tarte powder, let's take that to Sydney. Oh, would that fit? Oh no, uh, I guess you can squeeze it in. Uh, maybe not. I have some Too Faced Peach Perfect foundations. Um, these are around my shade, so put them there. Uh, these puffs, let's take to Sydney. So we're gonna put that at the bottom. Um, in here are a bunch of foundations and cushions. These are the Pokemon cushions, and to be honest, they are really bad. The packaging is really cute, but I think these are expired because I've had them for like. Uh, two or three years. Yeah, I got this in 2016. This one I've had for a long time. I think I've had this for like four years. Ew, that's gross. Yeah, so the problem with me is that I don't really throw my makeup out, so I need to get into the habit of cleaning out my makeup storage frequently. Oh, this one was like super white, I remember. And I made this video back in 2016, so that's long gone expired. Look at how dirty this is. I use this so much. Oh, gross. So let's get rid of that. Um, Pearly Night Peri Pera. I think this one's also. Oh, yeah, that's like ripped and. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, I think I've used all this up. Actually, I think I will just put everything in here so it just fits a bit better. And then I can use these for lipsticks. In here, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes and random false lashes. So, right, let's sort through them. I'm gonna keep them or not. I like these Etude House palettes, so I'm gonna keep them. I have like every single one of them. <laughs> we'll put them lying down so they all fit. Okay. So these are all the eye palettes I am going to keep. Um, but in terms of taking them to Sydney, oh, I actually might keep all my Etude House palettes in Perth. I would keep these palettes in Perth as well. This one in Perth. Uh, I'll take these ones to Sydney. The Sweet Peach palette in my makeup bag and I'll put this one in here, I don't mind waiting for this palette. I've got a bunch of benefit stuff for brows, so yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I use these quite a lot though, okay, so the ones I don't use as much I'll put in here. These are all my eye and eyebrow products that I will use in Sydney. Uh, are just some expired and broken things that I should have thrown away ages ago. Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've had this since 2012 guys. This is how long I've had this for. It's like 7 years. That's disgusting. So um, yeah, actually I am going to make a pile of makeup that I haven't used yet, which I would donate to shelters. But for all of the expired stuff, then yeah, I'm going to get rid of them because these eyeshadow palettes as well. I've had this since 2012. I just filled the bottom layer with my makeup all neatly set up. Now put some paper in there to separate and to keep them safe. Now let's move on to the next container. Uh, these are more blushes and bronzers. Actually, I think I bought this the very first time I went to Japan in 2011. So this is probably like eight years old now. So these 4D sticks from April Skin, yeah. I've used them so much. I think it's about time. Um, I'm going to keep this Clinique blush. I like it. This is my favourite bronzer. It's backup, so I'll keep that. I have a bunch of pigments from Bia, which I love, but I'm going to keep them in Perth. And I've got a few pigments which I'll take with me to Sydney. On this side, or like this. Yeah. Um, we'll leave that there. 
here. I'm a bit crazy and I love my lip tint. So I have like every single color of the Peri Pera um, lip tints. So I have to pack all of these into the boxes and then take out these, uh, I guess, acrylic dividers. Inside this drawer, I have my accessories. So what I'm going to do is actually just put all my earrings inside these little Ziploc bags. I just got these in Daiso for like a dollar. My box of makeup is actually almost all done. So I'm pretty impressed that it all fit into just one box. I might put some hair accessories on top because I still have room. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hey guys, it's the next day. So last night I finished packing, I think at like 2 a.m. So this morning the removers came over really early to pick up everything. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, I still have to pack up my suitcase, which I would do after this bouldering session. So currently I'm at bouldering, um, just waiting for my friends to come and yeah, I'm gonna climb, do some exercise. I packed my suitcases and I actually paid for another suitcase but the thing is um, I realized that I have a lot of space left. Hey guys it's the next day and I just took a shower as you guys can see our heads a bit of a mess but um, I realized I didn't end the vlog as usual uh, from yesterday so I thought I'll end it here. I'm actually flying to Sydney this afternoon so yeah I will see you guys in the next vlog where I am moving. See you guys thank you so much for watching it's very exciting times coming up bye. Thank you.